Vision offers four different types of cameras. The CPVC plastic camera, the stainless steel camera, the Nano, our smallest in diameter camera, and our newest addition is the Dual Scan Micro. GeoVision offers different design of reels and winch. The Econo Heavy Duty Reel. And the Motorized Tripod Winch. We offer several possible GeoVision camera system setups. Here an Econo Heavy Duty System is shown set up in the field. This setup shows the Deluxe Motorized Tripod Winch the micro camera, the deluxe carrying case, and several of the options. With the GeoVision camera systems, you choose the type of camera, the type of reel, the cable length, and the options to meet your specific needs. There are five different choices of cable lengths that come with the systems. 325 feet, 650 feet, 1,000 feet, 1,650 feet, up to 2,000 feet. The stainless steel or plastic CPVC cameras will fit into a 2-inch or larger borehole. They have the ability to pan and tilt in a 4-inch or larger bore. Pipe string to the cable or to the camera. We have the centralizer on. We won't have the centralizer deployed in this case because we're going to go past some objects. Now we've got it attached and we're going to connect or put the first section in the well. So now we can slide the camera head down into the well head and slide the first 10 foot joint down. And we have the camera set up so that the operator of the pipe string can see the video image so he knows what he's doing. The pump has been turned on and we're now chasing the water down to one of the inflow points. The camera's been tilted sideways and we're now looking right into the inflow. We're now back underwater and coming down to the pump inlet. We're now past the pump and going to turn around and look back up at the bottom of the motor. Now entering some slightly murky water. We are now looking up at the surface of the water and we'll come up with a camera pointed horizontally so that we can look at the water-air interface. If anything was floating on the surface of the water we could estimate how thick it was. Here we see the bottom of a casing that's been distorted into an oval shape as it's been pressed into the rock bore. These scenes show the pan tilt, motorized pan tilt system working in a 6 inch PVC pipe looking out an outlet hole here and then tilting up. The pictures were taken with the nano camera. The Nano is now going down to catch up with the pan tilt unit. PVC section into a steel 6 inch casing. We're up at the top of the pan tilt centralizer. Going down past the pan tilt unit to be able to see the camera head in operation. Going past, there's a split in the liner at uh, five feet or so, and now we're at water level at nine feet. One of the seams in the pipe. Take a look at the glue joint. See it. the side at about seven o'clock is blown out. Shards missing with cracks in the PVC. 
coming down into the area we're seeing the rock bore walls these scenes are using the nano with its motorized battery operated side looking mirror we're in a six inch bore in a metal casing looking at some of the scale on the bore walls 